Hello, Randy Rain here, and if you didn't know, I put out a video every Saturday, and I've been doing that for four years now, and I am never missed a Saturday, and I've even added some extra ones in there, and some of them are pretty difficult and have really taken me a long time to do, and I couldn't do them in a week, so I have to do some easy ones or do ones like this where I just have no choice but to do, and that is change the water pump on my truck. Now my truck is this old 2001 Dodge truck and I, I guess I can't have anything new. And so the water pump went out on it and I've already fixed several things on there already. Now my dad has passed away, but when he was around, he was a mechanic and he was an excellent mechanic. So I grew up watching my dad fix vehicles all the time. So I kind of know a little bit about it. And to change this water pump out, it was going to cost 400 and something dollars. So I figure if I can fix some robots, I can do this water pump thing. But I know it's not the most exciting thing, so I'll make it entertaining because it was quite entertaining. Now, the first thing I had to do was get that fan off of there. Now, the fan needs a 36 millimeter wrench. I don't have a 36 millimeter wrench. So, I had to go try to find one. No. So, couldn't find a 36 millimeter wrench. And so, there no one to borrow or, or rent one or anything. So, I had to buy one. So, there was the $35 option and the $42 option and all that. Well, I got the $18 option from Amazon. And look at this piece of crap. I mean, this is literally just a piece of sheet metal laser cut in the shape of a wrench and you got 36 millimeter on one end and 32 millimeter on the other end but hey it, it it works but to use it i have to hold this thing the bell on this water pump now there's a little device or something that you can like put into it and hold it to so you can use the wrench and i watch videos on it but and um, don't have that device and I'm not going to go rent that device so I figured out a better way it just uses a bolt and a chain so I'll show you in a second but the wrench worked and the fan turned and came right off of there but this was like the easy part really so yeah I have to you get the fan off first and then you got to take this little shielding part off and you got to first take the excess water spillover reservoir off. That's easy. And then it's the washer fluid thing, and that's pretty easy. And then it's the hose, and that's easy. That's a easy to get to clamp. I drained it at this point, and it's a plug at the bottom. That part's easy. Antifreeze is poison, so make sure there's no animals around to drink this stuff because I spilled it all over the place. But I did get to keep most of it. Then once you unbolt the shielding part, make sure the fan doesn't hit the radiator. You can wiggle this big giant thing out of there and pull it out, and now you have room to get into everything. Now you can see my chain setup, and you don't see chain setups like this on just any old YouTube channel. Yeah, so I just stuck a bolt in the hole there, and put a chain, wrapped it around the frame of the truck, and that's what held it in place as I unbolted it. Now you can take the belt off, and that's easy. I've already changed the pulleys on here. They've already went out. I need to get a new belt, that's for sure. And then the hose on the bottom can come off. That's pretty easy. And of course, I make a big giant mess with that as well. And now there's two connections onto this thing. And I don't know who to design this stupid thing, but 
first you have this little tiny hose with this clamp. I mean, I don't, this is ridiculous, but you get the hose clamp. Luckily, I can get to this one and get it off of there and get it unhooked. And the other one is hooked to this intake tube. And so I'm just going to disconnect it here because I can't get the intake tube off of the water pump. So I'll just pull the hose off of that one. And then it's just undoing these bolts. And some of these bolts are going all the way into the cavity of where the water is flowing through. And so as you unscrew them, more water and antifreeze pours out. And then once all the bolts are out, you can pull this thing out and it comes out pretty easy, but take note that it this getting this thing back on this hose right here is not easy at all. That's coming up. Okay, so here is this thing and the, the bearings, you can hear it. <laughs> Here is that thing, and that's how bad that thing sound. And so, yeah, the bearings were going out of it. So I got this thing out. Now, here's what I want to say, is that I'm all for paying a little bit extra to support local businesses instead of buying them online, like on Amazon or eBay. A little bit. But when you can get them on Amazon for like half the price, that's a problem and so people do that and it's what I did and even though it did come and bite me in the ass but it was still pretty much worth it and the first thing you got to do is get the pump onto that little tiny hose sticking out there that there's no way you can hold on to the back end of it it just has to go on there and you have to wiggle it in there, which you have no room whatsoever to do it. And I fought this thing, and I fought this thing, and I cursed, and I cursed. Finally, I came up with the idea is what about some really soapy water? So I got some dish soap and just put a little bit of water in it so it was really slimy so i slimed the whole thing up and eventually that allowed me to wiggle this thing on there and that really wore me out that was extremely tiring and it's the exact reason i don't like working on vehicles did it. <sighs> Step one is done. The hard part's over with. So now I got to get this piece of crap gasket up there. So now it's all bent out of shape. And I had an idea. I thought, you know what, I should probably iron this thing. I should probably iron it flat. That would be a good idea. That'd make it so much easier to go on. But no, I, I, I decided not to do that. And so I'm wiggling this thing up into place and trying to get it in there. Can't see, you know, because if you stick your head down in there to try to see, you're like, you know, one inch from the thing. It's impossible. So it's just pretty much feeling around and hoping and getting a glimpse of maybe something. And so anyway, I, I finally get it into place and I bolt it all back in and I reattach the 
hose on the bottom, no problem. And now this inlet tube. And here comes the very first problem. It doesn't fit. You try to stick it in the hole there and it doesn't go in. So I go online where I bought it on Amazon and I read some of the reviews on there. And some of them say, don't use the O-ring that comes with it. It's too small. Well, mine didn't even come with an O-ring. Luckily, I have a whole bunch of O-rings. But other reviews also said that theirs wouldn't fit in there too and it flared at the end and they had to grind it down so yeah me too yeah i just went and grinded it down on my belt sander outside it took like five minutes it really wasn't a big deal i mean it was just flanged out a little bit i saw on a video where you take some grease and put a smear around there so that's what i did is i put a bunch of grease around there and shoved it in and of course the little metal piece that holds the thing is not welded on there correctly so i have to bend the thing out of the way and make it so it'll fit but it gets on there it's on there and it's working And so I start putting everything back. You know, the whole shielding with the fan, that gets put back on. Have my chain system set back up. Use my stupid looking wrench here. Get it back on. Put all the stuff back together and I start filling it back up and it's leaking like a sieve. And it's just pouring out of there. And cuss words are pouring out of my mouth. So I had to take that whole damn thing back apart. And I knew what it was. It was that piece of crap gasket that I knew I should have ironed and flattened. That I had to fight to get that wiggly, bent out of shape thing up in there. And so, anyway, I took it all apart and I got it off. Took that gasket off and I went up to O'Reilly's and I bought another gasket. And I bought a nice gasket. So this one's nice and flat, made out of better material. And it slides right up in there, no problem. Get it back together. I don't know, I'm rushing at this point, and I just want to get this done, and I'm furious that I had to do it, and end up hurting my arm, scratching the crap out of myself. Now I have a big scab on there. But I finally get everything back, and I reuse the antifreeze, and then I added some water back into it, and more antifreeze. And it's working perfectly. And I've been driving it around now for quite a while. It's put on several miles on there. And everything seems to look fine. There's no leaks whatsoever. Engine runs nice and cool. So yes, I did it. I put on a new water pump on my truck. Now... Would I do it again like that? Yeah, probably so. Um, I did save quite a bit of money. It was hard. Uh, throw that gasket away. Go get a good gasket. They're only like $8. So that go ahead and splurge on your gasket. All right, so uh, grind down the inlet tube. Get the cheap water pump on Amazon I, if you want to save money. But go get you a good gasket. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was kind of fun, anyway, I, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff, not really like this, more on fixing robots and fixing old toys and stuff, this was just something fun I did because I you know, have to do this to keep up with the video once a week. Anyway, if you want to see more crazy stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people right here. These are the people keeping the channel going and I couldn't do it without them. So me doing a video every week is worth it 
for these people right here. And if you'd like to become a patron, of course, there's a link below. And there's the PayPal donations and the thank button all and all that stuff. That's all the youtube -y things. Anyway, I just want to thank you for watching if you got it this far. So, thank you. See you next time.